Friends from the press, good afternoon. Welcome to the regular press conference of the Foreign Ministry. Now I will take your questions. CCTV. Yeah, to go. Can you give us more details on the program of King of Malaysia's visit to China? How does China view the current China-Malaysia relationship, and what's China's expectation for the visit? China and Malaysia share time-honored friendship. We're good neighbors and good partners who have always supported each other and pursued win-win cooperation. In March last year, President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Anwar reached important common understandings on building a China-Malaysia community with a shared future, charting the course for the growth of bilateral relations in the new era. This year marks the 50th anniversary of China-Malaysia diplomatic ties and the year of China-Malaysia friendship. Premier Li Tiang paid a successful official visit to Malaysia in June this year. All these injects new impetus to the growth of China-Malaysia relations. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim's upcoming visit is his first visit to a non-ASEAN country after he swore in. President Xi will hold a welcoming ceremony and banquet for him. And the two head of states will hold talks together. Premier Li Tiang will meet with His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim. China stands ready to work with Malaysia through this visit to carry forward traditional friendship, deepen the synergy of development strategies, and expand mutually beneficial cooperation so as to further enrich the China-Malaysia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership and strive for new progress in building a China-Malaysia community with a shared future. Next one, please. Thank you, Prime Minister. Kyoto News, according to Japanese media outlets, in Shenzhen, a young Japanese boy was attacked by a Chinese man. He was sent to the hospital for treatment. Can you share with us more details? And this is the second case against Japanese citizen in China. How does China view such kind of events? Is it a idle case or is connected? Yes. On the morning of September 18th, a 10-year pupil in Shenzhen's Japanese school was stabbed by a man at 200 meters distance from his school. The in injured student was sent to hospital for treatment. Immediately, the suspect was arrested on the scene. The case is under further investigation. China will continue to take effective measures to earnestly protect the safety of all the foreign nationals in China. Next question. Thus, according to an official from the United States, the U.S. is considering the possibility of deploying medium-range or short-range missile systems in Japan. How does China view such announcement? And if the U.S. decides to do so, what will Russia and China do jointly to ensure their own security? In recent years, the U.S. has been bent on advancing military deployment including mid-range capability missile system in the Asia-Pacific to pursue absolute military advantages. This move will heighten arms race, exacerbate regional tensions, threaten peace and security in this region, and disrupt global strategic balance and stability. China has made clear its position more than once. We urge the U.S. to give up its deployment plan and call on relevant country to have a clear understanding of the real intention of the U.S. 
act prudently in fields related to military and security, and take concrete actions to uphold regional and international peace and stability. China will keep a close eye on relevant developments and firmly safeguard its security rights and interests. Next question. China News Agency. On September 17th, the U.S. State Department said that the U.S. has approved a military components arms sale worth 228 million U.S. dollars, including the supply and the shipment and other services, was China's comment. The U.S. arms sales to China's Taiwan region seriously violate the One China principle and the Three China-U.S. joint communiques, especially the August 17th communique of 1982. The sales severely undermine China's sovereignty and security interests, harm China-U.S. relations and peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, and send a gravely wrong message to Taiwan independence separatist forces. China strongly condemns and firmly opposes this and has lodged strong protests to the U.S. side. China has taken firm countermeasures and announced sanctions against the nine U.S. military companies. The U.S.'s frequent arms sales to Taiwan emboldened Lai Qingde and the DPP authorities as they cling to the stance of Taiwan independence and make deliberate provocations on the One China principle. This once again shows that the separatist for moves for Taiwan independence and the connivance and support for such moves from U.S.-led external forces are the biggest threat facing cross-strait peace and stability and source of damage <coughs> to the real status quo in the Taiwan Strait. Let me be clear. The DPP authorities attempt to seek independence through military buildup and what the U.S. has done to assist that agenda will only backfire and lead nowhere. The Taiwan question is at the core of China's core interests. And the first red line that cannot be crossed in China-U.S. relations, no one should underestimate China's firm determination and ability to oppose Taiwan independence and safeguard its sovereignty and territorial integrity. China urges the U.S. to earnestly abide by the One China Principle and the Three China-U.S. Joint Communiques. Immediately revoke its wrongful decisions to sell arms to Taiwan, stop the dangerous trend of arming Taiwan, stop conniving at and supporting Taiwan independence forces, and stop endangering cross-strait peace and stability. We will take strong and resolute measures to firmly defend our national sovereignty, security, and territorial integrity. Next question. What? AFP. Japan's Defense Ministry said that Liaoning carrier transited the contiguous zone of Japan's sea. Can you confirm that? And what's China's comment on that? About the specifics of your question, I'd refer you to competent authorities. Here I want to stress that relevant activities of China consistent with China's laws and international laws. Next question. AHK. On Shenzhen incidents where the Japanese boy was attacked, I want I have a follow up question. The what's the response from the person who launched the attack in the investigation? What's the injury? Can you share with us some details? As I've said, and I've introduced relevant information, the case is under investigation. I would like to reiterate that China will continue to take effective measures to earnestly protect the safety of all foreign nationals here in China. Next question. Beijing News Daily 
from September 12th to 16th, 2020 for SIFTIS was successfully held in Beijing, be it international giants or small-medium companies have pre presented their latest results, technologies and applications here and had cooperation talks with all kinds of merchants. Now the global free trade uh, is uh, encountering opportunities and challenges. How does China view the significance of this platform for high standard opening up? The 2024 SIFTIS was held in <coughs> Beijing. It was the 12 years since the SIFTIS was launched in 2012. Over the past decade and more, it has attached more than 900,000 exhibitors and audience from 197 countries and regions. China's trade in services grew at an annual rate of 6.2% higher than the global average, as President Xi Jinping noted in the congratulatory letter that SIFTIS is a vivid portrayal of the high-quality development of China's service industry and service trade, making positive contributions to the building of an open-world economy. SIFTIS is an epitome of China's commitment to high standard opening up. On the one hand, China has opened its door wider to the world. We have set up 22 pilot free trade zones, established the Hainan Free Trade Port, and worked vigorously for the signing and entry into force of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. On the other hand, China has eased access for foreign businesses. We have cut short the negative list for foreign investment several times and worked to eliminate all restrictions on foreign investment in the manufacturing sector. We have also, including the China International Import Expo, the Canton Fair, the China International Consumer Products Expo, China International Supply Chain Expo, hosted a number of fairs contributing to global development through Chinese modernization. Openness makes China's supersized market a strong magnet in global trade and turns China's modernization into new opportunities for the world development. Since the founding of New China 75 years ago, especially since the reform and opening up, China has explored paths to the wider world and actively engaged in international trade and economic cooperation. Since the new era, China has been pursuing a more proactive strategy of opening up and working to build an open world economy. The third plenary session of the 20th National Congress of the CPC this year spelled out in detail the next steps in improving the institutions and the mechanisms for high standard opening up. We stand ready to continue working with other countries to ride on economic globalization, share opportunities, explore cooperation and promote development through opening up and contribute our part to global modernization. Next question.彭博社美方所公布的一个起诉书中说到中国的国防承包商之一的一名雇员试图入侵了美方的军方以及其他的目标的网络中方对此有何评论 I'm not aware relevant specifics Next question Question 当时这是一个借口来入侵中方。中方对于这一事件发生在9月18号有什么评论？袭击者的情况是什么样的？他是否是一个仇恨攻击？刚才I have briefed you that this case is under further investigation. China is a country that upholds rule of law. We always welcome all foreign friends, including Japan people, to come to China for tourism, study, doing business and uh, living. We will continue to take effective measures to guarantee the safety of foreign nationals in China. Next question. 
还有其他问题吗 ？Any other questions? Work again. A Chinese. 彭博社，中国的中美的经济工作组会议将会在北京举行，将会讨论关税问题和产能过剩问题。中方想对美方。传递的信息是什么？想达到的目标是什么？想问的是 ，What kind of tariffs you want to ask about? Is the talk? Do you want to understand the talk between Europe or the U.S.? Can you specify your question furthermore? Split into two questions. 我有两个问题，一个是中方将会同欧盟方面在布鲁塞尔就电动车的关税进行讨论。以及中美经济工作组会议，这个具体的这个问 ，Concerning the specifics of your question, I'd refer you to competent authorities. As principal, I want to stress that the investigation is typical protectionist and politically motivated move. It disrespects facts, ignores WTO rules, contravenes the trend of history, and undermines the EU's green transition process and global response to climate change. China has, since the very beginning, shown utmost sincerity, been committed to settling the issue through dialogue and consultation, and made flexible proposals. The EU, however, as Has on the one hand claimed it is willing to resolve differences through dialogue, while on the other hand repeatedly refused China's proposals and failed to put forward anything specific. We hope the EU will show sincerity and take actions and take seriously into consideration the Chinese EV sector's legitimate concerns and suggestions. If the European Commission is bent on the wrong decision, China will take what is necessary to firmly safeguard the lawful rights and interests of our companies and the EV sector. On your Second question. I'd refer you to competent authorities for the meeting of China-U.S. Economic Working Group. Next question. Question about. 我要追问一下，关于今年早些时候。在苏州有日本的母子在学校的巴士上受袭。中国政府是否计划加强保证日本在华的公民可以获得相关信息 ？As for the previous incident you've mentioned, we've made clear China's position. Here, I would like to reiterate that the incident this time is under investigation by public security authorities. But China's attitude is clear. We always welcome all foreign people, including Japan, Japanese nationals, to come here for Ch in China for travel, study, and we will take necessary、uh, effective measures to ensure the safety of all foreign people here in China. Next question. Any other questions? Make clear on. on 之前的刺昌事件中，中方是否对于对中日本驻华大使馆提供了相关详细信息？已经阐明。About the Suzhou incident, we've made clear China's position. I have nothing more to add. 还有其他问题吗 ？Any other question? That will be the end of this today's regular conference. Thank you.